for the next topic that we have here is drawings okay which they call it lo chi l o c i and also bearing okay so the graph above show a locus of point that are 5 cm from point x so if they mention about point and they want 5 cm away from it so just basically put it on your compass measure it for 5 cm first then you just draw a circle over there okay the graph above show a locus of point that are 5 cm away from line x y so for this type of question basically you need to draw two circle one at the starting from the line which is x the other at the end of the line which is y after you draw out the circle itself then you draw two lines at the top at and the bottom of the circle okay and then erase whatever there is inside okay then you will form this particular shape okay the graph at the left show you the way to construct a perpendicular bisector of x y so they gave you two point and want you to construct the perpendicular bisector what you need to do is to pull out your compass as long as it is more than half of x y okay keep it the same length from x you draw two point and from y you draw another two point okay then this curve will form a overlap and the part where they overlap will be your perpendicular bisector okay and for you to construct a perpendicular bisector of a specific angle first you draw a sector okay that touches y and z okay then from there you change up the length of the compass okay from the point where they intercept there's two points over there you draw another two curve okay then you finally draw down a line so this perpendicular bisector basically split up the angle of y x z into two equal parts if let's say y x z is 60 then it was being splitted into 30 and 30. Okay, so the question over at the next part will be construct the locus of point that are equal distance from the line x, z, and z, y. So the first thing that you need to do is to identify the angle they are referring to, which is angle x, z, y over there. Okay, so as usual, like what I mentioned earlier, take out your compass form a sector first okay from the angle z okay it will touches the line y z and x z okay then extend it okay draw another two point from the intersection point then you will draw down the red line over there okay this will make a perpendicular bisector or they mention about equidistance okay so shade the area inside this field of x y z that is more than 5 cm from z and closer to x z than x y okay so the shaded part will be as shown as there Moving on, we are having a bearing question. Okay, first thing you need to know how to identify north, south, east, west. Okay, so additionally, any angle that is less than 100, you have to add a zero at the front. Okay, the bearing of y from x will be 0, 99. Okay, whereby for the next question, the bearing of y from x will be 0, 065 and the bearing of x from y will be 180 plus 65 which is 245. Things to take note is you need to very familiar with 90, 180, 270. So sometimes you have to add it up immediately to identify the results. The next part we have angle of elevation 
and angle of depression. Okay, this is what it was referring to. So PQRS is a rectangle size swimming pool. PT is a vertical watch point for CCTV installed on the in. Okay, PS is 50, PQ is 40, and then the angle of elevation of T from S is 8 degree. So find the angle of elevation of T from Q. So we are focusing at the triangle TPS. Okay, we have the angle of elevation, which is 8 degree. We are looking for TP and we have PS, which is 50 as mentioned. So TP will be tangent 8 times 50 equals to 7.03. Whereby for you to find the angle of elevation, okay, we are using TQP, okay, tangent of TQP equals to TP over QP. So QP's value as mentioned, it is 40 and TP's value we have gotten earlier which is 7.03. Then from there, you are able to identify angle TQP as 9.97. Okay, so that will be it for this particular topic. Hope you find it helpful.